Uh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to part two on the answering questions. You asked the questions, I put them into a random generator, and this is what uh, questions came up. So, thank you again for joining. Let's get into it. First question that came uh, up in the random generator you know, that was picked was, since being doxxed, um, any other issues come up uh, You know, since then? Nope. Um, I haven't heard anything back either way from the local police department or you know who they were going to send it off to. I, think, I believe he said the Justice Department. I don't have the reports in my car in the glove box. Because you know what? I'm done with it. You know, as far as I'm concerned right now. I mean, the information wasn't mine to begin with. They, they put out information that wasn't me. Uh, next, what experience do you have education-wise that makes you qualify to report on the cases that you have? Interesting question. I'm not, uh, obviously, I'm not taking just, you know, softball questions here. I don't have any education that would... Uh, qualify me to or anyone else to um, report on the cases that I do report on. Do you have to have an education to be able to read, write, comprehend beyond, you know, just a regular high school diploma? I mean, I've, I've gone to college, but I didn't go to college for this. I don't have a degree in journalism, if that's what you're asking. I've never said that I had a degree in journalism. I, matter of fact, my, my you know, choice of uh, oh, field of uh, education, I mean, I think I took uh, maybe four English classes the entire time that I went to school, but it doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not qualified and I can't do this. I mean, I've, I've, been, I've been proven right about everything that I've, you know, um, told before, you know, I reported on before it came out in the mainstream media. I mean, you I, all my videos are online. Go back and watch them. They're not edited, you know, other than what they were edited before they went up online. So, thanks for the question, though. Our next question. Are you friends with any of those in the Phoenix group? Uh, no. I don't know them personally. I, I respect what they're doing. And, and I think that they have, they have a um, very admirable uh, mission. In, um, in what they're doing. I will support that them in their um, efforts. Am I friends with them? No. Will I do any collaborations with them? No. But I still respect them. And there's a lot of people that I'm friends with on other channels too that I won't do collaborations with. But, you know, I'm, I, would, I would say that I'm friendly with them, with other groups and other people. But I don't have friends necessarily. I have one friend who has another YouTube channel, but he does uh, uh, sports, so. Next question, what's your opinion about Frank Ruschek, uh asking people to stop reporting on Christopher Watts? Well, I guess you need to actually watch the uh, video um, again that uh, Frank Ruschek actually put out and what Junior said. Uh, they never actually said, you know, that people should stop reporting on uh, Christopher Watts. They want people to uh, tell the truth. And they want people to report on what has actually really happened. And stop speculating and stop hurting their damn family and let them heal. And I have done none of the above. They've never contacted me and his family the Ruschek family does have my email address and contact information because I have been in contact with members of the family, just not Frank or, you know, um, the mom or Junior. So if they ever wanted to reach out to me and say, hey, can you please stop uh, reporting on, on uh, Christopher Watts? I would definitely uh, stop doing it if they were to actually contact me and I could confirm it was them. So next. Will you be doing any collaborations anytime soon? I have planned quite a few of them over the year, the past year, and uh, for one reason or another, they just haven't worked out. 
Um, the main reason a lot of the collaborations haven't worked out was because uh, the other person wanted uh, con complete control of either the money aspect, which I care less about, they can have all the damn money, but it was uh, they wanted to be able to use um, and have me sign a disclo disclosure where they got the content and they got to do whatever they want with it. And the last uh, group that I was going to do a collaboration with wanted to be able to use my likeness in thumbnails and in advertising. And I said, you're not going to use my likeness for advertising. So no, we're up. You know, we'll just start over here. If you, and then we couldn't agree on terms. So that ended. Do I have anything planned? No, not right now. I, I'm always open to it. Uh, there are quite a few uh, different um, YouTube creators and uh, media creators out there who create uh, um, content for websites and stuff like that that I would definitely uh, be interested in uh, uh, working with in the future. Uh, and But I don't have anything definitely planned right at this moment. <clears throat> All right, next one is not a softball question. Uh, you factually got a lot wrong with your last uh, Christopher Watts update um, in saying that uh, uh, Nowak uh, was his girlfriend. This is untrue. Uh, she is the friends with Christopher Watts' sister. Okay. Um, if she is the friends with Christopher Watts' sister, great. I don't know. I can't confirm that just because you said so. I can't confirm that. But on the actual visitor's log, if you see the visitor's log, and I was justified in the live stream, there was what, the last live, not this last one, but the one before that I think it was, um, I had, what, six people who have actually gotten the and found it online, the actual visitor's log. Underneath the, the section that, where it says type of visit, it says personal forward slash GF. What does GF stand for? Good friend? No, it's personal visit girlfriend. Is the, and that's what GF is the abbreviation for if you look at the bottom of the chart of you know what they put in that box. GF means girlfriend of the inmate. So, you know, I, I'm not going to dispute that with you or anybody else. If she's married, she's got a funny way of actually, say, um, uh, you know, uh, living her life. Uh, because uh, I've read some of the letters that Cindy Watts uh, um, released that uh, came from her. And that's not something how I would be okay with my wife writing under the man who is in prison. You know, even if she is taking it from a religious standpoint... Um, she uses the word I love you, you know, the words I love you a lot in her letters to Christopher Watts. And Cindy released those. Again, you can go onto Google Images and you can see the letters to yourself and, and that and all the other whacking up jobs who've written them. You know, Cindy released all that information in all those letters. They didn't come from Chris. Chris ain't sending them out to some, you know, some reporter or to Google. Cindy got that. He sent them all out in a in a video envelope to Cindy, and Cindy then released them to the media, or anybody that wanted to take them, or pictures of them. But oh well, yeah. Well, let's just say I was completely wrong, and she's not his girlfriend, and I'm wrong. Uh, Scott Reese is wrong. Um, the prison's wrong. Um, his friend Alex is wrong. And uh, so is everybody else who's reported on ABC, NBC, CBS, PBS, uh, um, Al Jazeera. They're all wrong that this is his girlfriend. So you're right. It's his sister's friend and she's married to some other man and she writes love letters to a man who is in prison for the rest of his life. Okay. Next question. What is next um, and upcoming for your channel? I don't have anything different uh, what's coming up next. I mean, obviously, I've got some cases that I'm working on. Uh, I'm doing research on, and they are taking a, um, a good pit, bit of my time. Uh, I'm trying to uh, uh, do the research and, you know, uh, factually support everything like I always do. And 
it's kind of hard right now because you know it's uh, the summer months. I my I'm working longer hours at work. Plus, you know, I got family. You know, my three year old is extremely active, so you know, he wants to do things. I can't exactly duct tape him to a chair and say sit still while I make some phone calls. So you know, like right now, he's running around, you know, like endlessly, you know, nonstop. You know, you'll we'll probably hear him in the background there, but. I, I'm working on cases, you know, and I've got the two channels. Um, been kind of neglecting uh, the other channel for a, a last week or so because uh, I was doing a stand-up comedy uh, bit with you know, my friend. I wrote jo jokes for him, and he wrote jokes for me. So after one episode, he quit. He didn't want to do it anymore because uh, other things came up in his life that he just had to do instead. But. Yeah, I definitely got to get back to. I got some videos that are ready to be uploaded, pretty much uh, for that channel, but I just haven't done it. So, you know, I'm I'm looking forward to uh, the summer and uh, getting uh, well. August, you know, pretty much, uh, I get to uh, have more flexibility in my schedule. So, that's about it. I hope that answers your question. Um, next question is why did you change your channel art? from saying uh, true crime to now saying common sense reporting uh, because of the sheer fact that I'm I'm slowly uh, I'm not abandoning the true crime genre genre but I'm making uh, this a more diversified uh, channel and where I'm talking about true crime reporting investigation and all that together, and that encompasses the, the common sense, uh, you know, reporting as opposed to just true crime. So I hope that answers your question. Next one. Uh, have you spoken to Frankie Jr. again? I have never spoken to Frankie Jr., and I've never said that I've spoken to Frankie Jr. I have spoken to other members of the Ruchik family, but I've never spoken to Senior or to Junior or to the mother. Sorry. Next question. I know you don't uh, wish to get into it, but uh, certain people, I won't, I'm skipping the name on purpose here, are trying to report your live streams for harassment. Uh, not surprised by that at all. I have uh, received quite a few complaints from my live streams and my videos that I'm using either, I'm saying other people's personal information, um, using copyrighted material, and it's an on every uh, like four days. It's like you know, I, I get a claim, you know, um, or a notice from YouTube. I respond to it. They take it away. Another one comes in, and it just keeps on and keeps on and keeps on and keeps on. It you know, it changes up. Yeah. So I'm not surprised by that at all. It's been an ongoing uh, campaign of harassment uh, against me, and I don't understand exactly why. I'm not going to roll around in the mud like a third grader on the playground after school, you know, and fight little Timmy because Timmy says, you know, that my hair looks bad or that I smell or whatever the hell little kids are fighting about these days. I'm not going to do it. So, not surprised by it at all. <clears throat> Next question. Any updates on the uh, Deborah Jean Martin case? I have not heard from her friend um, uh, who has been contacting me for about uh, about a week now. I, it's been the last time I got an email uh, that I replied. I, I got an email and I replied to it, but that was the last uh, communication I had with uh, them um, or her. I I can't email Deborah in jail, and I'm not sure really if I want to. Um, I answered the last email and I got I got a reply I replied back to their email and that was about it, it was about a week ago. <coughs> Any uh, changes? No, it's still uh, in the kind of like the the uh, pre stages of trial. Um, motions are being heard, um, ex parte motions and stuff like that are being heard. But and I believe she is either going soon or she has gone to have a, a psychiatric evaluation. Uh, I don't know if she's planning on um, pleading uh, in uh, not guilty by reason of insanity. I don't know any of that. And I'm not privy to that, and I don't want to really know that. So, but I don't know where the case is at this exact point. Next one. Um, 
Have you ever covered the Dior case? If not, why? I'm not sure if I actually have or not. I or for YouTube, I'm not sure if I did. I was uh, on a uh, video, um, I don't, but I'm not sure if that is if that is uh, for if I whipped it up on YouTube or if that's over on my friend's website, where we discussed the Dior case in depth. Um, but I may have covered it here on YouTube. So, but thanks for the question, though. Um, next question is, you said that you wanted suggestions for cases to cover, but I've offered several and you've never covered any of those cases. Why? See, now this, po this question is impossible to answer because I have no idea who the actual questions came from. So I can't uh, look it up, um, you know, or without telling me what the actual cases you suggested are, I, I have no way of actually looking into it, and I'm sorry for that. Next question, are you related to uh, James Finley, who has a YouTube uh, channel out of Flint, Michigan? Uh, and not aware of James Finley, uh, I may. He could be like a cousin or a nephew or something, I don't know. I've got a pretty extensive family, and I'm from Michigan, you know, Iowa, Ohio, Wisconsin, Minnesota. I've got a lot of family back there. I mean, wouldn't know if, if he's a relative or not. So, but thanks for the question, though. <coughs> Next one. Excuse me. Um... When is the, the next chance that uh, you will be going to a VidCon or a YouTube conference? Um, would love to uh, um, meet, meet up with you. I don't know. I'm scheduled right now to go to VidCon 2020, which will be the 11th anniversary of uh, VidCon. And uh, so I don't know. Uh, it, besides that, I have no plans to go to any others. I've, I've been invited to take part in Latino YouTube, uh, but I'm not Latino, and that's in New York, but I was invited to that, but I, I, I don't know if that's passed or not, but I turned them down. Uh, I am not much of a convention goer. Uh, I don't uh, love uh, paying hundreds of dollars to have uh, somebody, you know, give me a pep talk, you know, good going, you can do it. I don't need a hundred, you know, spend hundreds of dollars or thousands of dollars to fly across the United States to do that. So, and that is it. That is all the questions that were picked, you know, at random uh, that I had figured I'd have time for without having this be an hour-long uh, conversation. Thank you, everyone, for stopping by and checking out today's video. If I didn't get to your question or if you have a, you know, a follow-up question to one of the ones that I just answered, Put it down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, you know, subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I appreciate each and every one of you stopping by today. And you stay safe out there.